What's going on, all? What's going on, Postal Youngs and all that bullshit? So before I go into anything, this is going to be a little bit of a creepy one, I think. I'm going to try to make it not be. So I'm almost all the way done converting all this into Tether so I can send it to Gemini so I can cash it, or Kraken and cash it. I should probably send it to some of both. So I'm just... I, I'm going to wait just a little bit to sell the Theta because I want the price to go back up a little bit more, but whatever. It's kind of the same. So I've got 4000 I just paid, I think, all, if not most of my bills. I've got 2000 left over. I've got 4000 in my savings for my niece. That's We'll just round down and say 6000 So that's my niece back plus her interest, and I'm about to get paid. Uh, after taxes, my paychecks are going to be as if I just had a hit song all by myself. So, now, the reason why I hyper fixated on getting my niece paid back is because whatever the fuck, look, Tiffany's a part of something. I don't even want to get into that right now, it's bullshit. Leaving Tiffany, because leaving Tiffany out of this, like, I thought she was like a perfect, cute little whatever the fuck, and she probably still is, but when it comes to finances, there's always some crazy-ass bullshit involved with her. It's, it's probably just the Asian shit. But the people that I met her at that party with, a lot of them are creepos. And then, Evie put out that weird article, and I wouldn't be surprised if like it's... Tiffany behind it because she's trying to like throw shade at me for the Asha thing and I really don't care and let me explain that to you for a second first off you all know exactly what I'm talking about I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have talked to her at this point in time or at least know who she is and what I'm talking about and that bitch in the kimono kimono with all that like fucking she calls them lotions and potions yeah okay you're not gonna get with that bitch you're not you can try or you're not like you you have to like you don't have the game and needed to get with that but you don't <clears throat> call her whatever you want to call her call me whatever you want to call me you don't so i was saying like and 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 that's not surgeries that's not pills that's not like you know all that bullshit that bitch was born that way that's why I say there really is a difference between someone like Hannah, Gabby, Odile, or Agale, whatever the fuck, that German bitch who was born with a fallopian tube and all that bullshit and is also a fashion model and some crazy dude in a wig. And I'm only bringing that up because those crazy dude in a wigs people, those seem to be the ones who hyper fixate on doing weird shit to kids and being predatorial and all that bullshit. So, uh... Uh, again, one of the reasons why, assuming that person was part of Tiffany's entourage that was inviting me to a house party or whatever the fuck, one of the reasons why I said no to them and blocked them, and I don't know which one it was that I blocked, so I can't really unblock it, was because uh, the creepy shit the other ones do. And they happen to be tall, according to the EV article. If you're short or tall, you happen to be like really creepy now you can call me whatever, whatever you want to call me i don't think i did anything wrong or out of the ordinary everyone likes asha dude i would take that bitch to the cvs to pick up her meds and all that bullshit because that's psychiatrist bullshit when i get into that thank god she's off that crazy bullshit or maybe not who gives a fuck i don't care we we try to be just friends and we can't because she kept telling me that i ruined uh her ability to do anything with anyone because of my ability to lay pipe and all that bullshit. And that's the thing, lay pipe. Especially during a pandemic, in like the five mile radius, like that was the best. I'm telling you, it's like America's full of fat bitches is essentially what it is. But um, she's a really cool person and all that bullshit. Um, the most you could say is that I got trapped. Sure, okay, whatever. I got trapped. I really don't give a shit. All right? Uh, that <clears throat> goes back to one of those things where I was saying, like, karma and whatnot. You can do whatever you want. As long as the karma is good, there's going to be no blowback from it. 
uh, help that bitch turn her life around. At the very least, if she wants to go back to doing what she was doing when I met her, at the very least, she can do it on her own and fund it. She won't have to, like, go to Dubai and eat dog shit. She never has, and hopefully she never will, right? <clears throat> and there are plenty, plenty of, of normal bitches who are super insta hoes who, to be quite honest, just don't have the spiritual background to not go eat dog shit in Dubai. So you call it what you, whatever you want to call it. From my point of view, I helped have one less trafficking victim go to Dubai and eat dog shit uh, because my karma is clean. I didn't realize that I was going to get my card pulled by a bunch of bullshit. I can prove that I'm not all the other bullshit. And I guarantee you that, like, look, I guarantee you that it makes Tiffany fucking super duper 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 jealous. She just liked one of her bot accounts on Instagram, just liked the reel she gave me of her. All right. Uh, additionally, like, this is a thing that I'm just going to say that I'll probably say this last thing about that Asha thing. Only reason why I was even doing it is because it was open on my end, closed on her end. And the thing is, I felt really shitty. She also was kind of using the psychological warfare on me because once Tiffany got back in the picture, because I didn't know Tiffany was Stephanie, and I was trying to find Stephanie the whole time, uh, uh, all of a sudden, Asha was like, well, I wasn't comfortable with it being open on your end, and like, I wish I would have known because then I wouldn't have done it. That's just not the kind of shit that I do. She kind of convinced me to do it. That's why I say like the most you can say really is that I was trapped. The most you could say, right? Now, to talk about that, creepy article that the witch's coven just put out dude the people who fund the witch's coven whatever the the billionaire millionaire people is probably the one that i met sort of at the thingy the reason why i was basically like doing a little and it was unsanctioned no one particularly was doing it i was just trying to see for myself if these people really are do this weird culty bullshit they do they do they do they do and they're all tall, and they're all in a secret club. They all have a lot of money, and they try to use it predatorily. Again, there was some inside job, self-made millionaire, some rich kid bought a bunch of Bitcoin, someone else told him when to sell it, all that bullshit, tried to like, look, this is how predatorial they are. I, also, one of the reasons why I don't use LinkedIn right now, that fucker's probably still following me. Some creepy fucker who's friends with the Tates, who they're so obsessed and copy me. The, the whole like pivot away from red pill, trying to be like family men and look how good values they are and all that bullshit. They're still copying me because I've been saying for years, all the shit's going to happen to them. It's happening to them. And I'm like, fuck, now we're going to copy him more doing this way. Because before they would, they would copy my characters. Now they're trying to copy like me, me. Anyways, whatever. And again, even the thing, Tate has a thing where he's like talking about like how banging a hot Asha is better than banging an ugly American chick. Where do you think he got that from? Anyways. Um, these creepy fuckers. And not all of them, like not all of them are like this. Some of them are cool. The other ones are creepy as fuck. They stalked me on LinkedIn. Try to like get to know me and all that bullshit, but I don't talk to anyone. Uh, uh, that creepy weirdo at Night for Freedom 2. Again, like I, I didn't see Tiffany there. At, that was part two one. But do you all know why? I spent the whole night with some like, eh, she was like maybe 50 years old, some 50, maybe 60 year old, a lot of plastic surgery bitch was like pawing at me and I was, I gotta be honest, every single time I was about to get laid, like the, the first one was the best one, but then every other ones I was about to get laid and then like one of the dudes, like uh, what was his name, uh, uh, Constantine and that crew, they would be like, yo man, don't do not do that right now. I was like, all right, fine. Maybe they know Tiffany too and they knew that Tiffany was looking for me and all that bullshit or stalking me or whatever the fuck. Anyways, no, like as soon as that creepy... Uh, well, as soon as this happened, I ran basically, and that and started drinking to get away from all those fuckers. And that bitch just like grabbed me, and I was like, "Great protection from those creepy fuckers." Anyways, and you might remember I was making a stink about this back in 2018. Uh, then uh, some creepy fucker 
try to like make it pass at me by like holding my hand and trying to get me to open some jar for them. I was like literally like about to like make fun of them and call them a faggot for not being able to open a jar, and then they made a pass at me, and I was like, "Oh, you are a faggot!" And I ran. And again, like if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But like, this is where it gets even more creepier. Okay. Then at the brunch, I overheard because I made a big stink about it because I knew that like all the um, people are connected and it's all social media ma managers and whatnot. So I told all the influencers that I was gathering data on all the creepy weird shit that guy was doing uh, and he like ran away and like didn't go to the brunch. Then at the brunch, I overheard one of the other people say that he basically had paid that creepo weirdo Ivan Throne guy to basically like get tips on how to pick up, basically try to pick me up at night for freedom and because he's a millionaire and like basically wanted to smash. And I was like, what a fucking creepy weirdo. That's predatorial. That is full blown. Like that is a Peter Puffer, fruity, all that bullshit, predatorial bullshit. Okay, that is not the same thing at all, at all. And another thing is that's why I tell you Tiffany is so into me because there is some fucking creepy thing that she's involved in, where all these rich fuckers from rich families literally go to these little clubs and fuck each other. Look. I would 100% think that the Tates fucked and got fucked. Will Chamberlain and a bunch of other high-ranking secret handshake club peoples because at Night for Freedom 3, the one with the fake airplane, they were all in the six foot two inches club at the fucking Trump Hotel and they were getting really drunk and, and they had the picture of it and Tates sitting like this and, and Tristan sitting like this and Joseph Watson is like scowling and Will Chamberlain is happy as fuck with his little glass because he knows I have the pocketbook because I have the ranking and you all must go upstairs and fuck me in the ass the way I like it and then call me by my name because I'm Will Chamberlain. Why do you think Will Chamberlain has always been trying to get me to do crazy shit? Because he's a creepy weirdo. I don't want to be around that fucker. Seriously, why do you think I never wanted to do anything with Cassandra Fairbanks? She gets people for him. They're all these little script writer, I'm a lawyer, do what I say. I, I, I got my own lawyers. I got my own delegates. I've been doing this shit since I was 17. They, they need me. I don't need you. Right? Seriously. All the people that you think are red pill dudes smashing poon, they're not. They're smashing dudes behind closed doors. That's some gay shit. That's some, that's some flat out flaming all the way predatorial. That's planning it out in advance. Okay. That is not at all the same thing. And again, I want to like good luck trying to get like, believe it or not, like the only, the only, the only, uh, uh, standards I've seen that are higher than like Asha standards are K-pop standards because Asha is a Nepali princess. And if you want to get super duper duper into it, the ones who are literally born that way, not using it as an excuse or trying to get attention, like Asha could easily have her own channel with a million views. She don't want the attention. She just wants to live her life and have her garden and all that bullshit. Because that's just how she is. The other ones, that's not how they are. They're just trying to do some crazy shit. And I just literally saw someone who came here for a better life and had their brain all crazy turned around. And to be quite honest, Asha is not even the same person. If I met Asha now, probably wouldn't even like do anything because when I met Asha, Asha was wearing lotions and potions and fishnets and high heels and all that crazy bullshit, right? All that hoey ass bullshit. When I met that crazy bitch, that bitch was eating half of a, t half of a little tomato because she didn't want to lose her figure. And I was like, just eat the fucking... I'll order you a pizza. Whatever the fuck. Not the same thing as being in a secret club, stalking someone, trying to... Like, literally everything that those other creepy people did to me, Tiffany's doing to me, just she's Tiffany. So I don't mind because she's a pretty girl. But those creepy fuckers, I'm telling you... 
and they literally think because they have a million dollars. Like half the reason why I got them, I mean, like I wasn't even thinking about it like this, but like in retrospect, I was like probably half the reason why I didn't want to spend the money on like hookers and drugs because I didn't want to end up like those crazy fuckers. So you can write all the articles and maybe they're not. Maybe I'm projecting a little bit. I don't know. I don't care. But again, like, I really feel like Asha is a once in a lifetime experience and I'm just better off for it. Again, if Tiffany wanted to be Stephanie, if Stephanie would have just been Stephanie back in 2018, none of this would have happened. But I mean, I feel like I just met a really cool Nepali person. That's just all there is to it. Now those fucking creepy weirdos I've been thrown in his fucking weirdo friend who I think is a pedo because why would you spend all that money trying to do all this shit with kids? All these weird people do things with kids all the time. But like, no, those people... Flat out flamer, flat out flamers, flat out flamers again. And, and the girl who warned me of this was Caribbean. I don't want to give her information out too much, but I went to one of the showings of some movie. I didn't even watch it. I was fell asleep, right? It was in DC and I met that Caribbean bitch and I was helping her put her camera shit away, um, away. And that's when Will Chamberlain and uh, Cassandra Fairbanks and whoever the fuck it was. And Cassandra got really mad. She's been really trying. Before she got married, she's probably still now she would. But, but but she was really trying to get me into one of those hotel rooms with her. Uh, with those little weird parties go on. And I never asked her if she went in one. Because I didn't want to bring her up any weird feelings or whatever. But, um, yeah, then she basically, like they were trying to invite us to the party and she was like holding me back. Like, no, let's not go. Let's, she was on my, she was holding my arm. Let's not, we're not going. We're not going. Walk me to my car. I was like, okay, I'm going to walk this bitch to her car. And then we fooled around a little bit and then I was going to get some, but she told me she was married and it's going to sound stupid, but going back to the whole karma thing, if she hadn't have been married, I would have got some. If she would have been separated, at least, I would have got some. She was married, going to go home and be like, oh, I had a great night out with the ladies and all that bullshit. So I just didn't want that drama going on. But no, like the most you could say, and I really don't give a fuck because like, I guarantee you, like the stories I've heard from Asha and the Ashas that I've known, uh, uh, a lot of you motherfuckers have shit in your closet that you wouldn't even like you I'm telling you if if DMs could talk I guarantee you all who are like I would never do that probably do it twice a week and and pay for it I wasn't paying for it seriously I met a really cool person I helped them out I helped them better their life I think we're both better off for it and life just continued that's the way I view it that is nowhere near the same thing as like preying on people and trying to like force them into creepy sexual intercourse so you can blackmail them if you really want to know why tiffany keeps getting bush pushback it's because i met her at a party where people do shit like that and she doesn't want to just show up here and hang out and smoke and do our own thing like, if you want me to be part of your club, you're going to have to show me the part of the club that doesn't do that weird, creepy shit. Because as of right now, your club has only showed me the weird, creepy shit. And I want nothing to do with that. Okay? You want to know why all those weird fuckers who do weird, creepy shit one by one started getting arrested? Have a nice day, everybody.